Hi, I'm Jason from All Things Containers. Today I'm going to show you how to install extra vents in uh, shipping containers. Uh, usually this is done because of too much moisture or generally the, the container gets too hot. So they install a number of extra vents either up high or down low um, to take the heat out of, uh, out of the container and today I'm going to show you how to do that. These are the tools required today. We got three rivets. We're using a grey vent, or a, a drill which I've pre-drilled the holes already. We use a riveter and some sealer to install this vent and I'll show you how. So three rivets, uh, two at the top, one at the bottom. Try to do this without uh, dropping any of the rivets. First one off. Second one, of course, if you work in a workshop, you could use a compressor and a riveter that runs off the compressor, which is a lot easier, obviously. And that's the three rivets. And my recommendation is to run a beta sealer around the top and the two sides, just for extra seal. It's not necessary or required, but I, I just recommend it. Just don't run it across the bottom. If you run sealer across the bottom there, water gets in there and sits behind it and rusts out your container. So now, on the inside, I'll show you what we do in regards to the holes that help with the ventilation. Now, those of you that have grinders, uh, I would cut a small hole, as I've indicated here with the Nikko. I'd cut a small hole and just put a little bit of mesh over the top of it. It's quicker, or uh, as they come, uh, drill holes, it's, which is probably easier for the average punter, person at home, to run a number of drill holes in behind the top half of the vent. As you can see, there are the three rivets. You run the drill holes behind the top half of the vent and then so that no um, insects or infestation or ants can climb up through. If you keep it up the top, the moisture stays out of the container as well. Thank you for your time.